the new look ghost going for that 2 and 0 start to the season. Cloud9 just getting started. Wanting to get their first win of the season out of the way. We got a look at Ghost earlier today, Turtle, yeah. and really, we didn't know how they would stack up against the Pittsburgh Knights. Yeah. It was a solid performance from them, but now how do they fare in this next test against Cloud9? I mean, there was so much momentum for the Knights going into that series, coming off of Montreal, but then Ghost showing up in Atomic, being the player to stand out and prove to these players, you know, I am making a difference. And now, especially in this game, Ghost have a rare opportunity to turn this into from, you know, a big three and to try and make it a big eight. A big eight. I I'm going for it. You're going all I'm eight, going all all eight of them. I think it's happening. I'm nervous <laughs> because this season could be the craziest one. And for Cloud9, you know, for, the, for their first game, Ghost already warms up. They already got their first game on stream out of the way. Yeah. So, but, but this is a team, so much experience. It doesn't matter to them. What do you expect out of this Cloud9 team? I mean, it comes down to play styles. Cloud9, they are so strong with the transitional game. They are a team that is so explosive, and that relies on three elements. That is Torment coming in, cleaning things up in the backfield. We've got Gimmick needs to be set up, and then Squishy has got to be able to hit those incredible solo shots that we see so much from him. Game one is underway, Memory. Bumped out of the way, it gives, oh, and he gets back. A good dunk from Memory on the recovery. After Cloud9 tried to bump, he sends that one up, but the rest of Ghost waiting for that next touch, so. Ghosts get their first look on offense, Illusion, who had a great series against the Pittsburgh Knights earlier today. Yeah. And you expect more of that. That shot just off the post, off the pass from Atomic, but sent away by Squishy Muffins. And right away, I love what I'm seeing from Ghost. High energy, aggressive offense, and Atomic, again, being the, the nuisance of the team, trying to get these demos, get in their faces, and be aggressive. Well, getting aggressive against Squishy, preventing him from taking a shot on net. Gimmick takes his own off the ceiling and able to get it out at least towards midfield and then winning another challenge. Gimmick, every time he gets behind that ball, you just feel like he's going to win the challenge no matter what. He's yeah. so good in that challenge game. Atomic slowing it down. He's out of boost, but oh, he gets bump. a little chip for some speed. Doesn't matter. Squishy sends it away. And I love the confidence as well. I mean, this is a cloud nine offense and defense that's so set in stone. But you're going up against a ghost team right now who still doesn't have their play style figured out. You know, we see Atomic finally getting involved. And there he is again. Atomic starting off the series with a quick aerial. Yeah, Memory staying with this actually just tries to get on the opposite side of Gamic. The challenge goes his way. Atomic, yeah. beautiful placement from Atomic. That's exactly what they wanted to get out of Atomic. Great shots. We saw it earlier today as well. And he starts off with a bang. I'm telling you, Ghost are here. It's a refresh. They had somewhat of a dead roster. You know, with Lethemir, I felt like they weren't really making huge strides on improvement, trying to perfect and polish their play style. And then they come out here with a new player. And that fresh air, that fresh atmosphere can boost so much, especially at the start of a season. Now Pi Atomic has this off the backboard. Ghost have to play some defense here. Quick pass around the corner. Shot just off the crossbar for Gimmick. Squishy takes the ball away from Ghost. Gimmick can't handle Atomic, so just trying to get it away from him. Atomic almost works his way past the entire defense. Ghost right back on offense. They did not spend a lot of time on their own half. That shot turned away by Squishy. Illusion well, just staying with it, trying to give his team a chance at the ball, keeping the ball away from Cloud9. Illusion. Trying to flip back into it with the last boost in the tank. Atomic, he gets chipped out of the way. This game is very physical yeah. so far. Both teams just chips. Not really massive bumps, but chips that are thrown. Touches off. That shot's great from Gimmick off the pass from Torment. Again, the vision here. Trying to set up Gimmick. Torment always says, I, I, I just throw the ball to Gimmick. And somehow he's always in position. Coming in so much momentum. That's an easy shot. Always know that Gimmick is going to hit it and he's going to be in position. Cloud9 response about halfway through the game. Ooh, that kickoff is Ghost. Oh. Solution puts it on target. Tough call for Cloud9 off the kickoff. As soon as I saw Cloud9 get a response there, I thought it was just going to instantly shift. But Illusion with a beautiful kickoff and a great reaction. You know, getting a good kickoff is one thing, but then being able to follow it up is another. Cloud9, just when they got back, were able to tie it. Now they have to get another goal. Atomic 
dumping it out to the side. Now the backboard, or back wall, Memory puts it on the backboard. The shot comes through for Illusion, yeah. but it's wide off the net. Torment got a piece of it. We'll get credit for the save. The transition through for Cloud9, and that one's off the post. The shot never comes. Atomic had the option covered. Now headed the other way is Ghost. Memory can't find the ball against Torment. Torment, another challenge, which goes away a gimmick. And Ghosts are surprisingly putting in so many shots so far. Five shots for Ghosts. Four for Cloud9. It seems like they're out shooting right now. And everything for Ghost is going much more fluid than anything for Cloud9. It seems like they're stuck on their defensive end. And right here, so much space for memory. He has so much time to make a precise shot and adjust as to the angle he's going to the ball. And well done by Torment to cover it on the backboard and then get the clear downfield. Ghosts. Cloud9 will take the space that they have to move downfield. Squishy just missing that touch. Torment oh. demoing and getting the bump onto Memory. Gimmick cut under the ball, but Torment keeps the ball in play. That's just a pass to Squishy. We got a tie game. The corner play coming out from Cloud9. It's a bit of a mix up here. Something I've seen a lot in the Ghost Corner so far. And Atomic is just facing the wrong way. In that situation, he didn't have the chance to come around and rotate through to challenge and contest Cloud9 getting some solid passing in to tie this one up. What have you seen mainly from Ghost so far in these first four minutes? They have gone neck and neck here with Cloud9. Right. They've, they've had the lead really for the majority of game one. It, it's a weird defense from Cloud9. I mean, normally you will see this Cloud9 defense turtle up and kind of, you know, cave back in and let the other offense run all over them, but they can, they can maintain composure. But right now it seems like they're just not communicating well and giving the enemy team so much space. Ghost has so much time to line up every single shot. This one, boom. Back to the wall, squishy. A light tap will give Gimmick a chance. Atomic takes it away from him here. 30 seconds remaining, Cloud9. Right now locked in the blue half, squishy. We'll play it slow against Memory. Memory still wins this challenge. He's actually gonna take a shot. Memory, oh, what a save off the crossbar by Gimmick. A better follow-up. Oh, I can put it back in. Memory looking for the pass. It's sent away for now, but midfield is Ghost. Illusion backing up. He sees the space. How does he utilize it? Carrying it away. Looking for Memory. He's got him. Back to the blue back wall. Squishy against. He's cut off again. Ghost aggressive. Oh, looking it. for a shot, but Illusion and, or Atomic and Memory combined. No, we got overtime. So many opportunities so far for Ghost, and they're utilizing the space that Cloud9 are giving them against the team, especially with a new roster. It's so easy to panic when you don't know exactly what's going on, but the rotations are there, they're strong, and that means that they're able to analyze and realize when they have so much space that this Cloud9 defense is giving them. Torment, his touch out to the side. You see how aggressive the positioning is oh, from Ghost. Double. double, almost memory. Couldn't get it on target, he ran out of boost. Couldn't boost into that touch to get more power onto it. More importantly, just a little wide. This high out to the side, Ghost are really challenging Cloud9 right now. This Illusion. overtime belongs to them. Again, Illusion, you see how fast he was in the midfield going up for the aerial. They're just outpacing Cloud9, which is something that's incredibly hard to do, especially against a team that consists of Squishy and Gimmick. Good first touch by Torment, Illusion. Ball got away from him for a second. Up quick, it's a great save by Atomic coming back. Memory off the line, can't clear it away. Illusion has to play to the corner. Torment's right there. Atomic has to make this save. He needs some help because Squishy's in the air. Squishy, the first touch. He was able to make the challenge. Gimmick sends it back to the middle, but Torment has to play it out. He does secure, excuse me, the mid boost. But Atomic, he's just taking the ball away, yeah. but it's Gimmick who picks up the ball off the backboard. Read well again by Illusion. This backboard has been difficult. Cloud9 have tested it several times here against Ghost. Ghosts are making it difficult, and it might look a little scary at times, but they're grabbing these rebounds still. Cloud9 are on offense. Squishy shot. Oh, oh he scores! Dunk. Cloud9 in overtime. They're able to get it. Game one belongs to them. Squishy, I didn't think he was going to be able to finish this one in, especially after the first shot, but he goes in and just throws himself at the ball and manages to stuff it through the Ghost defense. Cloud9 take the first game. The first minute of that overtime, Ghost were just in the blue half, yeah. and it felt like it was only a matter of time that they were about to score, but then 
Cloud9, a quick transition, put Ghost in, in really a harried situation where they had to rush back on defense, and they were just getting haphazard clears, yeah. hitting the ball up right in front of the box. No one was able to follow it up on, for Ghost at the end, and Cloud9, it almost feels like they stole it away from them. Yeah. But it was, it was a close game looking at the stat line. I mean, you have nine shots from Ghost and then eight from Cloud9. They were always, you know, it was tit for tat on each side of the pitch. Yeah, that's, that's a great point, especially about the clears, Jorby, that you brought up. I, I, I like the way that Ghost was clearing the ball, but it seemed like, especially with how evolved the Rocket League defense game has gotten and the rotations, if you clear the ball, you have to find a teammate to at least help you if you can't get a strong enough clear. Ghost at the end of that match, I saw Atomic several times just popping the ball up, and that's that's a great stall for your teammate to you know rotate back and get time, but if you're just losing possession, especially right now in the way that you know Rocket League has transformed into such a fast-paced game, you can't do that. You can't lose possession especially at such a dire moment. Yeah, and I mean, give credit to Cloud9 and their positioning in that situation. It, specifically, I'm remembering Torment, who yeah. set that whole situation up to begin with. He sent it to the box. He had Illusion Red all day. Illusion wasn't going anywhere except for the right side of the pitch. Torment was already there for it, and it started that, that cascade that Cloud9 had, and Squishy just bullies his way into the net. So, But it, this new look Ghost team it is definitely much different. There just seems to be a different feeling about this yeah. Ghost squad. I mean, and we've seen them before. This isn't the first time we've seen this new roster play, but something about them, uh, you can definitely tell they put in the practice in the offseason. I mean, we talked about it before. I mean, Rogue, just an example, you know, Wonder, a player who he's taken off of school. He's been able to put in 110 hours. He's been going hard right now. And you can tell that Ghost right now have been putting in the work to try and involve Atomic into this offense, and it is showing right here. To be able to finish as game two is underway. Saw some solid offensive pressure. We'll see if that continues. Maybe more of that physical game that was such a critical aspect of yeah. game number one for both teams. First touch, gimmick and squishy. Kind of testing each touch. Torment gets back to himself, but the rest of Cloud9 have to wait for Illusion. He wants to slow this one down, but he lost the challenge in midfield, and the second challenge in midfield by memory is lost. So Gimmick will take control, but a good touch by a comic just tops up, makes sure to secure the ball in the corner, forces Torment to try yep. to make this play. And another demo from Gimmick. It seems like Cloud9, but oh, as I was going to compliment, that memory comes through and forces one in. Yeah, Torment, he had to try to buy some time for Squishy. Squishy, he's caught on the back wall here. Memory knows this. He sees Gimmick on the other side. He yeah. knows he just has to beat Squishy to this ball, and he did. Kept it slow, got the far side of the pitch. one nothing for Ghost. They have the lead again. It's weird because it felt, especially at the start of this game, the first minute, Cloud9 had shifted that momentum. Maybe they were feeling out this Ghost roster that they don't have so much experience with. They're trying to figure out, you know, how are they getting involved with the pitch? Where are they throwing Atomic? But right now, again, they're still getting caught off guard on their defensive end. Illusion against the back wall. Squishy sends that one away. Still trying to follow it up. Trying to play it slow here, Memory. Keeping it close. And it was a good idea to carry that one down. Yeah. Try to get it out, make one guy miss. Couldn't do it that time, but you like that from Ghost. They seem to be consistently utilizing that space. Memory picks up the save off the shot from Squishy. Somehow, managing to fly all the way across. A similar angle that Squishy was trying to get on that save previously, but didn't manage to get in front of it. Memory, a player who's gotten savior of the season, I believe, multiple times. Somebody who's so defensive is always there. It's, it's almost a similar concept between how Torment and Memory play. Very defensive, trying to support their team from the backfield. The control from this Ghost Squad so far in Game 2. Cloud9 were down at this point in Game Number 1. They scored around this time, too. Here, Squishy carries oh. it the whole way! It was almost saved, but Squishy scores. Able to tie for Cloud9. What a way! to tie up the game right now. Squishy always putting on his mechanical skill and displaying what he has to offer. And like I talked about before, the solo play, Squishy comes through so many times with just incredible skills. Cloud9 needed that flash, needed the splash play. They got it, Torment kicks this up. Squishy off the whiff, had a chance at a shot. Did register, Memory picked up the save. Illusion, his challenge actually just goes to Torment. Gimmick bumps one out of the way, but the third man is there on the line, Atomic. 
Ghost feeling the pressure right now. Squishy, great challenge. Couldn't yeah. find that next touch, but Gimmick right there to follow it up. How does he play it across the box? Cloud9 sitting on pretty low boost, but confirming the boost on the opponent's end and just continuing this assault right now. The field belongs to Cloud9 on this possession. I mean, it's the pressure that they're applying right now on this Ghost defense. Cloud9 are winning uh, challenge time and time again. And Squishy oh. almost getting another highlight real play here. Gimmick trying to go for it, but they have always been rotating right now the past 30 seconds. Winning challenges, this ball has not left the Ghost end. Going around, Torment has some time, and he'll just take this one away. Looking across, it gets challenged. Illusion, another challenge. Illusion gives way for Atomic. High, and it's read well and taken away by Torment. Gimmick letting it bounce. What a play. I thought he was going to catch that, but letting it bounce so he has more of an option to take the ball into the air with the momentum of the bounce. A player who really is a surprising individual to watch because he can do so much, and it, the way he moves around the ball is so unique. But it is Ghost. Oh no, Ghost losing midfield off the pass. Illusion having to play on the back wall for this first touch. Torment. Works his way past two defenders. Can't get much more done as memory takes control. Illusion, good challenge. Hopping up quickly. That close rotation, they've been consistently doing that to move down the pitch. Yeah. Winning those quick challenges and being able to follow up quickly. But the transition game from Cloud9 is strong. Blocked now oh, for memory. Finisher. And Gimmick, a light shot. Too weak and way out. Torment stays with it. He gets a dunk, but... It's caught out. That's a dangerous ball. Gimmick makes them pay off the crossbar. Cloud9, a late lead. A defense crumbling what for a Ghost right now. And that, that dunk, saving the flip. And Gimmick almost missing as well, coming in, just powering it through the defense. And Ghost really just lost their footing right there. And they've been struggling a lot more ever since Cloud9 scored that tying goal to find consistent offensive pressure. Here up high, Atomic trying to get back up to that, but Ball just a little too high. Pass out, dangerous pass. Torment had him cut off. Atomic, it's out to the corner. This is Cloud9's ball. Gimmick slows it down. Almost makes the defense look silly. Kick downfield. Do Ghost have a play here on the counterattack? Up high. Oh, this One be a touch. Chance. Maybe off the ceiling. The shot's good! Atomic scores! Zero seconds, and we got a tie game. Atomic, again, coming in with the clutch finish. Memory doing a perfect job keeping it above and using the ceiling to get that pass in. That was incredible. What a way to not give up towards the end of that game. And it was a domino effect. Ghosts were aggressively positioned on that. They had Cloud9 beat to every single rebound, every single touch. But Cloud9, it doesn't matter. Every game could go to overtime. They're going to win off the kickoff this time. Gimmick, great touch. A slow start there from memory in the backfield. And Gimmick, just an instant response from Cloud9. I thought Ghost maybe had a chance, but now they find themselves needing to get a reverse sweep against a momentum-carrying Cloud9. It, it seems to happen with, with Cloud9 during league play, where, yeah. where you know teams will play them close, but they always come out on top every single time. It, it's, it's such a resilient squad, even though Ghost are putting together good sequences on both sides of the pitch. Cloud9 are just are, are relentless. They seem to they seem to create opportunities out of nothing sometimes. I mean, it's it's an interesting concept. How do you throw off a team like Cloud9? How do you make them panic right now? Because Ghost are coming in, they're trying to outpace Cloud9, which they they have been successful, but it seems like they can't make Cloud9 panic. They can't make them, you know, double commit. Maybe at the first game, whenever they were testing the waters, a little bit of that. But so far, Cloud9 have been able to figure out a way to mo to move through trust because they've been together so long. There's no hesitation. Getting Cloud9 to panic is what Ghost try to do, but it's not working. And for, for Ghosts, I think maybe some of that physical play we saw from them in game number one that gave them some more opportunities. Yeah. Now, granted, they were still able to score in this game. They were still able to find opportunities, and it was it was generated off of, off of their own um, offensive ability rather than just Cloud9 mistakes. They, right. they were really good uh, on the offensive side of the ball, but so something is just not clicking in these overtimes, and, and they can't find the back of the net, even when they do put together a solid possession. They didn't get a chance in the last overtime, but, you know, Ghosts, they have to find a way, when they get these leads, they have to retain them, and they have to find a way to score multiple yep. goals. They need insurance against Cloud9. And not only do they need insurance, they need two games right now to get themselves back into game five. A reverse sweep is needed right now for Ghost. 
if they want to go 2-0 for the day, which would be a fantastic start to league play. But as well, Cloud9 looking to keep their claim here as one of the big three in North America. They are a Leviathan in North America. Certainly a tough test for Ghost. Memory in front. Good challenge to prevent the ball heading across the box. And Lucian squares up twice. He beats two defenders. He actually has three beat, but Torment on the rotation back. Cloud9 will get it around to the corner. Ghost trying to lock it down on the blue half like we saw them do earlier. You see Atomic flipping his car to the side, preventing he flips into it like that, preventing that ball from getting Oh, what a pass. Chopped over him. Atomic shot's just wide, though. Illusion will keep it going for Ghost. Wow, that pass from memory was picture perfect. Hitting it off the ceiling. Atomic just not able to put it in the corner. And it's opportunities like that, especially with how scarce it's going to be against a Cloud9 offense, who, especially after the, the squishy shot, that aerial, that air dribble, I feel like was such a, a surge of energy for Cloud9. They are certainly feeling it with a 2-0 lead in the series. Illusion. It's a great touch. Downfield. Torment, though. Able to play it away to Squishy. Memory takes this off the back wall, gets the touch out, but gimmick fast off the line. Illusion forced to make this touch, and Atomic, I'm not sure if he touched it or not, it skidded across his car either way. Oh, Look at Memory play. just harassing the Cloud9 defense. But Squishy almost Somehow comes away from that scrum. Gimmick shot off the crossbar. It bounces out. And Illusion picks up the save for Ghost. If that was going to be a goal for Cloud9, did you see the way the ball moved yeah. through all the players? Like It was almost like pinballs right now. I, I don't understand how that happened. Because Squishy also realized it, caught the ball, and then continued to make a play Still out made of the it. play. The reaction time for that is incredible. Absolutely. He's, he's always able to, <laughs> you know, hop up and make a save and off again, the shot from Atomic. A little bit of a bump at the defensive end. Squishy and Torment. Getting caught up, but it, you still don't see that much of a panic, even in situations where it's it's so easy just to freak out and just you know throw yourself at the ball. Cloud Nine stays calm, cool, and relaxed. And that that opportunity for Ghost, they had only gimmick back on the net. This almost a shot from Memory is prevented, and uh, it was Illusion who wanted to pass it over to Memory. It was downfield, but it, it was a huge missed opportunity for a two-on-one. Yeah. Just unfortunate. They were hoping that corner boost would spawn, and it never did. And so. Ghost with Illusion carrying from midfield. Does he have a dunk? No. It's forced out back to the opposite side of Cloud9 territory. And another good challenge from Gimmick gives Cloud9 a chance maybe in midfield, but Atomic sends it back. Now we're back and forth here. Less than two minutes to go. Cloud9 trying to complete a sweep here against Ghost. Bit of a game of kickball right now. Both teams just kind of huge clears from both sides, trying to force some kind of mistake. Not trying to go for too much of a risk. Oh, and what that's a, a dunk. dunk right there. What a dunk, Squishy. Gets it perfectly, and the ball pops up for him. Still able to get up and make the shot. And what a read to come at the ball from that angle and flip as well. And then to react and land and capitalize off the dunk. Squishy coming in again with solo plays. Cloud9. one nothing lead. Gimmick. Taking points, Squishy, the owner of so many goals for Cloud9. Yeah. And Ghost just don't seem to have a consistent answer for it. Ha have not been able to close out a game. It's a very reserved feel from Cloud9, as if they're not trying to throw everything, because they already have two games in the series right now. They're up 1-0 with a solo play. They don't need to throw everything they have right now against this Ghost roster. They don't need to over exert their energy right now, just kind of keeping the ball out of their own end, playing kickball if you need to, and they're just so relaxed. And previous iterations of Ghosts had so many close games against our LCS teams that they could never win. So, yeah. you know, obviously we're only the second game in, and they had an impressive performance against the Pittsburgh Knights, but, you know, you got two more juggernauts in G2 and NRG in this league, and, and you're still playing these teams close, and you can't come away with the victory. There's a great bump to try to put the shot on, but it comes delayed, and then it's too high as well. Right off the backboard, red, and taken away by Cloud9, killing time off the clock with a one-goal lead. Gimmick's just in the way. Ghost, they can't find a shot on net. It's gone. 25 seconds remaining. Cloud9 from midfield. 
And the, the opportunities are there, like you said, Jorbe. There are so many chances for Ghost right now to come through and put, put these shots in. But against a Cloud9 defense, that's just so sturdy. It seems like nothing, even as close as it can be, is shaking. They're getting, I mean, Gimmick just had that read off the dunk and they hit. What do you do against that? What do you do when Squishy can just dunk everything that you try to do? Oh, memory. A potential shot is not gonna happen. Oh man, it just off the corner of the post. Cloud9 eke away a 3-0 sweep onto Ghosts. And I thought Memory was gonna put in another zero second goal and be yeah. involved. You know, last game we saw him get the pass off the ceiling, coming in clutch towards the end, but this time not able to find the back of the net. So Ghosts, how do you, how do you feel about this Ghost team? They're now one and one on the season, which, you know, they've started 0-2 every other iteration, yep. so a little bit better. And against Cloud9, still not enough. I mean, I, I had the lowest hopes for Ghost coming into the season. The I'm not lowest. gonna lie. Like I, oh, and seven. They, it's, it's. I was, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I was you. happy with with yeah. the roster swim, right? Yeah. I was happy with them, you know, put, bring on Atomic. I thought it brought a nice fresh air, a nice atmosphere, but I still didn't have high hopes. But then they come in, and that game against the Knights, and even in this game, it was a 3-0, but it did not represent how that series went. They were there. They were giving Cloud9 pressure. It just came down to little tiny defensive mistakes of poor rotations. That just comes with time and experience I, as a team. Yeah, and, and, I, and I really love Squishy in this series, but I got to shout out Torment because Ghost still had some good pressure. They still yeah. put on nine shots, and... Torment, four saves on the back end. I, I still think, though, it was missed opportunities for Ghosts in, in Game 3. They had several two-on-one opportunities that they couldn't capitalize on, and really some situations were just Cloud9 with a better team. Yeah. When, when Gimmick and Squishy dunk you like like they got dunked, and then Torment getting the yeah. dunk a, as well earlier to make the, the make the pass happen, I mean, what what can you do? I mean, what, what can you do? Look, Look, all I'm gonna say a good is question. we got we got one more game left today. NRG versus Space Station. The first week of RLCS has been really fun so far. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with our last game of the day.